Uh, Ryan, it came down to literally the last second, but obviously you guys were, were close all along. How close did you follow it? Because if you look at your number, 798 is a very specific number, and it really relates to the current cap crunch of the team. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously it's a process. It took, you know, a while. I think, you know, there's a lot of other guys that need to get signed and there's a lot of moving pieces. Um, you know, with the cap not going up because of COVID, it's, uh, it's tough to, you know, squeeze everyone in. But I think, uh, you know, I'm happy with, uh, with being back. And I think it's a number that works for uh, both me and the team. So it's uh, good to be back. You've known Jay for a long time. He obviously has a lot of confidence in you. And you showed the growth in your game last year. What's the next step for Ryan McLeod this season? I think, yeah, just keep building on uh, kind of the way the second half of the season went. Um, I was kind of taking charge in camp and, and uh, you know, building my role right away and, you know, kind of wanting more for myself and, uh, you know, to get a bigger role. So I'm uh, you know, looking to push here at the start of camp. And uh, sure. Hey, Ryan, uh, was it kind of stressful for you, I guess, leading up to training camp, not having a contract in place? And if so, how, you know, much of a relief is it to get it done? Uh, yeah, of course. It's, uh, you know, a little stressful coming here without a – the deal, but you know, I came back early. I kind of wanted to show everyone that you know I wanted to be here, and, and I think that you know everyone knew. I think uh, you know, just we're just tailing the cap, and it's uh, you know, I just came down to the last minute, but it's uh, it's, it's good to be back, and I'm uh, I'm happy I got done. Um, getting that you know full year under your belt last year, you know, being part of the long playoff run, uh, is it kind of a different feeling for you, I guess, coming into training camp, having that you know full season under your belt now? Definitely, I think uh, you know, a lot more comfortable now. Uh, I feel like uh, you know, there's a lot more room for me to grow, and I'm uh, excited for the challenge. Ryan, I think everybody knows what the cap situation was. I mean, they were in a really tough spot, although they put themselves there, but they were in a tough spot. Um, you end up doing a deal that you could argue is under market value. is under your QO. That's rare. A lot of times, that equals a player not being at camp. There's a holdout. What are the reasons why you made the decision not to consider that and to be here and to take the money that was available there? Uh, you know, I, I just think we have a good group here. I think you know we have a really ch good chance to you know, do something special this year, and I you know I wanted to be a part of it. I didn't want to you know come back in, you know maybe a couple of weeks later with like a bit more money. It's I just don't think it was really worth it. I think uh, you know if we have a good year, I think it's going to work out for a reason, and uh, you know excited for this group, and it should be a good year. Is there a longer term play too in that like this is the organization you're going to be negotiating with in the future as well? Like there's kind of this give and take over the course of three or four years of multiple contracts. Is that something that exists? Uh, you know, I hope so, uh, but, you know, obviously, you know, they have a cap and, you know, I want, you know, the most money I can get, but, um, you know, I didn't really have any, many rights this year, so, uh, you know, kind of take it for what it is and, and hope to have a good year. As a, uh, as a follow-up to that, I mean, you're kind of, in a way, betting on yourself, right? And, and having that full, full year behind you, you can really kind of piggyback off that, have a good year, and I, I suspect, did that go into some of the, um, some of the thought process of getting this deal done that, you know, if, if you get, can have a good year in a couple of years, time, it'll, it'll pay off in the end. Yeah, I think, uh, especially for taking, you know, we assumed there's going to be a one-year deal with just how the cap is, uh, so I didn't really want to miss much time, especially because, you know, it's a, I'm basically betting on myself. So, you know, I want to be here from day one and just kind of put my best foot forward and, and you know, have a chance to have a good year and with, uh, for myself and with the team. Your best foot forward, I think, is uh, like a little bit different than, than last year. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fourth line center last year. Now everyone thinks you're in the top nine for sure. How do you feel about you know your role and, and being able to kind of take the bull by the horns this year? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's exciting. I'm very motivated. Uh, excited for the uh, opportunity and the, and the challenge of uh, you know comes with that. So um, just very excited and uh, you know hoping to have a, a good start to the season, a good training camp. Show should be fun. What uh, makes you feel like a top nine guy now? I think just the experience of being in the league, uh, the confidence is going up. I think, you know, I kind of got the tools to be there. So just hoping I, you know, kind of keep working on my game and uh, excel there. Ryan, we saw how much this team elevated its play when Jay Woodcroft arrived last season. How much will this team benefit with a full training camp with Woodcroft here? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be huge. Uh, you know, day one, we're already, you know, really dialing the systems and all that stuff. So I think, uh, you know, last year you can only kind of implement certain things with these only here for like a short amount of time, and we never bring many practice days. So, um, yeah, I think it's gonna, we're going to see a lot of change, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be for the better. How much do you think that relationship with him benefited you last season in terms of communication, kind of bouncing ideas off of one another? I think it helped a lot. Uh, you know, he was comfortable with me, and you know, I know him very well, so I, can, I could I could approach him. So, um, you know, it was good. He kind of knew what he was getting out of me, and and the positions to put me in. So, I think it worked out really well. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks.